Yeah, I've got a, <clears throat> I got a point something out here, and I'm getting sick of it. But and let's see if I can talk and chew gum at the same time. Um, when you shift into a gear like a number gear, I can't really do this. Explain this while I'm shifting. You have to shift all the way down into it, it'll stay in the like the D, the D set, set of gears until you until you uh, hold the V key down, and every time you uh, shift into another gear, it stays in D. What it should do is go back to A, and then you shift through those set of gears. That way you don't, you'll notice that whenever I, I shift up to a, a, another set of gears, I have to hold down the V key to downshift into gear A again, and then start shifting back up B, C, and D. And then when I shift to fifth, it stays in D, so I have to hold the V key down quickly get it real quick and then go back to A again. You know, honestly, I don't like that. What they should have done is, uh, made, okay, my field is 100%. I'm going to explain this later. I'm trying to work now. I'm one of these people that can't talk and shoot guns at the same time. I can't talk while I'm working. Not this kind of stuff.
uh, what they should have done is they should have had separate keys to switch into the gear, these, you know, the gears within the set, the sub gears, as you should call them. You know, like, uh, I don't know, you know, like B and G maybe to go into the actual sub gears. And instead of having you hold down the F key to shift into the sub gears and tap, tap it to shift into a major gear, because a lot of times when you tap it, it also won't shift. You have to tap it twice. That the key won't register. That's kind of irritating too. So you can't really do like a real tracker. You can't shift through all the gears very well um, because a lot of times the key won't register when you tap it. A lot of times it will mistakenly it'll um, it will change into a whole other gear when you mean really for it merely to shift into another gear within the gear set. Stop. And I'm not, you know a lot of times. Uh, the, the key won't even register when you strike it. You have to hold it down to get your register, you know, and when you do that, it will go into a sub gear, and you may want it to go into a major gear. In that case, you want it to go into a major gear, and it won't. <coughs> the keys don't register too well. And I don't think it's my keyboard, because my keyboard works in other games. It works in Skyrim. Pretty damn good. You know, and that's a game where it takes a lot of uh, quick maneuvering and everything. So I think we need to patch that where the, the key strike is registered quicker when you strike a key because you have to strike it really quick. If you want to, I mean, if you want to do this, it's really not necessary to go through all the gear sets. Merely stay in like, you know, I'd stay in A and I'd go up to three. Unless you want to do it here, sit here and fumble around the gears like I'm doing. I'd stay in three A or maybe four A get the job done quicker. I'm running a little bit low on gas, but I think I get the job done before we uh, go back and refuel the sucker. And then I got a kind of a idea on how we can fix that little, or work around that little glitch where the tutorial doesn't know that I've already dumped the seed into the, the hopper or whatever. And so, you know, I figure if I go and refill, my trailer and dump it with the seed in from the silo, which is a pointless thing, but then I can trick it into thinking that uh, the, uh, the seed has been dumped, because it really has been. It's already in the silo, and I get it out of the silo again, because of the fucking tutorial not knowing that I put it in the silo in the first place. I get it out of the silo and put it back in the silo and then maybe it'll go on to the next part of the fucking tutorial and we can get over this fucking tutorial and play the game like proper which I've been waiting to do for days and days because I've been playing this thing on the, the tutorial for days and days mainly because I haven't been playing it regularly but also I've been waiting a long time to get to the main part of the game that's what I bought the damn thing for and the uh, tutorial doesn't seem to be working right. A lot of times you have to point your finger to get it to go to the next area to point its finger. And if you don't do all this stuff exactly like it tells you, it'll... It'll be a real dick with you and bumble around and figure out what you're doing. When really it should say, well, okay, the seeds are in the silo, so let's go to the next part. You, know, not, you did not drive exactly over the uh, area where you, uh, not seed, feed, I mean, I mean not feed, uh, you did not drive over the exact area where you, you dumped your crop, your uh, wheat, you know, duh. Well, it's in the fucking silo, so let's get part to the next damn part of the tutorial, which really is this. We're, what we're doing now, this is a, the next part of the tutorial that it will be pointing to after it has figured out that um, we have the, indeed put the uh, crop in the damn silo. So we're actually ahead of it. But unfortunately it'll probably say we didn't do this either when we in fact are doing it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get this finished. Oh, my gas is getting down. So we got a little bit more to mop up here. So I'm just going to stick her in high gear and mop it up. 
don't have an anchor, 100%. to make those turns a little sluggish. It's pretty sluggish when you're running the uh, haymaker. And uh, when you make a turn, um, it, it, it uh, bogs down the engine. So you'll have to shift down when you make a turn. Okay, this, is the, this is a pretty big area. Right? There's a lot of hay right here. This should be it right here. It should be about 90-something percent done. And it would say you're going, you can go home now or whatever. So let's go back and tell it to direct us to the hay field to bale the hay, even though we've already done it. And then we'll come back here and pussyfoot around a little bit with the hay, make, the, uh, hay machine. To, you know, to get it to point us to get the, the next part of the tutorial after that, after that, which I can't remember. I think it's selling your crop, and I can't remember. And then we should be finally done with this fucking thing. We can fucking play the game and make some money and shit and buy some other farms and whatever. I think I'm going to leave Haymaker out here because um, I'm going to be needing it anyway when it comes back and says you're going to need to go bail the hay now. Go ahead and drop the thing. Just drop it. Oh, now it's ain't working. Okay. Skyrim arrow because Skyrim's notoriously bad about this follow the leader crap with the arrows and stuff. This other game is role playing game ring. Again, it's kind of a Norway type uh, setting. It's on another fantasy world and you know, whatever. It's a fantasy role playing game. Where you, it's, it's open ended, but it's not really open ended. Because Okay, go here, where the arrow tells you to. Okay, that's where you go, and it's it, and nothing else. I mean, you can go wandering around and stuff, but there's really no reason. The tutorial here is kind of the same way. Well, the game is a whole, but, you know, it's... I like this game, though, because it's not about where you can go, it's about what you're doing, and you can get some idea of what it's like to be... What farmers do out there, with their plows and their seeds and stuff, you learn from Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over there and, and get that thing to drop our uh, uh, wheat back into the damn cart, even though we already dropped the wheat out of the cart into the damn silo. Now we're going to get the wheat back into the cart and drop it back into the silo. Maybe that will trip the tutorial to go on to the next part of the deal. And then again, maybe we're screwed. Put it down and use the third place here. Uh, even though we probably didn't study all the way to the first gear. The first gear is like so slow, it takes forever to do anything. Even back the fucking thing up. Can't be in there. And I need to. I was like first gear on a riding lawnmower.
we're gonna be calling in dudes that can tow us back. Yeah, if your tractor's an inch from the fucking gas tank and you don't have gas, you're not gonna get any gas. You don't have to get to call someone to come up and tow your fucking tractor to get some gas and that costs a lot of money. So let's go get some gas. And if I get the momentum, maybe I can coast to the gas station. Because the farm boy won't get out and push the tractor. Exactly the spout. I can't get the thing, the camera to go look down at all. I can't do it. Do a top down view, so I can't tell where the fucking spout is. And you realize what you can do is look through your eyes. And since you can't do that, they need to have a top down view for this fucking thing. I know it's what it's going to do. I'm going to lose the damn scene. 